submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. So the great picture there is when you're filled with the Spirit, it's as though you're addressing other people musically in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. In other words, you're blessing their hearts. You're, you're talking and addressing them in a way that, that sounds beautiful, it sounds wonderful. And when you hear that, you know. And it even says, singing and making melody the Lord with your heart. So even from your heart, there's music springing forth and, um, and taking over the area. There is a group I like out from California, and they quite often sing about God and parallel or compare God to a, a beautiful symphony and, and the music that comes within us. And I think about this verse 19, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart, and that you're addressing other per- people in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. I mean, that is just such a beautiful, melodic picture, vivid of what the spirit-filled life is. Not the drunken life, but a life that is spirit-filled is a blessing to other people, a blessing to the body of Christ, a blessing to the community. And it's when it's done in that way for the glory of God, it is a blessing to God. It, it blesses his heart to see his people functioning in obedience, living their lives in a way to bring him glory. And then it says in verse 20, giving thanks always and for everything. So that's even the bad stuff in life, right? That's what it's saying, to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you're not just complaining and grumbling, having a perishing mentality headed right back into the pit, but instead you're giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the way a spirit-filled person who's not living under the control of alcohol, drugs, wine, sex, rock and roll, whatever, but is someone who is living a spirit-filled life. And then verse 21 of Ephesians 5 says, submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. So there it is, reverence for Christ. That's the motivation. I'm doing this because God, I consider you worthy. You are worthy of my worship. You are worthy to be praised. I reverence you. I lift you up. I see myself as low, and I'm therefore going to submit to my human authorities. I'm going to submit to those people who are discipling me. I'm going to submit to my church leaders. I'm going to submit to my boss. I'm going to submit to other people who are in authority over me, not because I love doing that. All of us want to be the boss, right? We want to be the boss, applesauce. That's kind of the phrase I think about. But what God is saying is it blesses him to see his people submitting, submitting to one another, those authorities, those people, and and considering other people as better than yourself out of reverence for Christ. That's what a spirit-filled, transforming, addicted person should look like. And what a blessing to see.